Hello and welcome to SL Productions and my top five Seventh Doctor stories. Now, Sylvester McCoy played the Seventh Doctor from 1987 to 1989 and was in 12 Doctor Who stories over those three years. He did appear in Doctor Who the TV movie, but that was only a cameo, so I'm not counting that on this list. I'm also not counting Big Finish stories as I haven't listened to them all, I've only listened to a few, so can't really count them in this list. So yes, this is my top five favourite Sylvester McCoy or Seventh Doctor TV stories. And this is one of the final videos in my Best of Doctor Who series. I started in 2016 when I released my top 10 favourite John Pertwee stories, and I intended on doing a video once a month of every single Doctor, and I'm finally here in 2021, almost five years later, doing my top five favourite Seventh Doctor stories. I've only got Matt Smith to go, which will be out soon. So yes, kicking off this list at number five, we do have Survival, the final classic Doctor Who adventure. So yes, Survival features the Cheetah People, a great story in my opinion. Also features the Master, the last appearance of the Master played by Antley Ainley, except for in this game, I think, which I've not played. But yes, yeah, Survival, great story in my opinion. It's not the ending Doctor Who hoped for, because Doctor Who got cancelled after this, but other than that, I do find Survival quite enjoyable. It's only a three-part story, like most of the Seventh Doctor's era. And yes, yeah, Survival, great story in my opinion. There's some really enjoyable bits in it. Obviously, it's not the ending anyone would choose for classic Doctor Who, as it's not really a finale, but it does feature Anthony Ainley, who is the master one of Doctor Who's biggest villains, so it's not really a bad finale, but it could have been better, but obviously they cancelled Doctor Who, but then they bought it back, which was a relief. Coming in at number four, we do have The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. Now, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy is set in space, and it's basically about this circus in space. A very quirky story, in my opinion, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. In fact, a lot of the Seventh Doctor's era is very quirky stories. But yeah, Greatest Show in the Galaxy, great story, in my opinion. Really enjoyed this episode. And yes, I would highly recommend. Coming in at number three, we do have The Curse of Fenric, the penultimate story in Doctor Who history. Now, The Curse of Fenric is the first ever Doctor Who story to be set around World War II. There's been loads, well, not loads, but there's been quite a few in the current era of Doctor Who, the modern era, even though it is 16 years old now. There's more of a gap now between when Doctor Who was revived and now than when Doctor Who was revived and Doctor Who ended in 1989, which is scary to think, to be honest. So yeah, Curse of Fenric, great story in my opinion. Four parts, very good aliens in this story, some great character development, really enjoyed The Curse of Fenric. Now coming in at number two, my second favourite Sylvester McCoy story is Battlefield, the final appearance in the classic era of the Brigadier. The Brigadier does appear again in Dimensions in Time, but that's not a proper episode, so I wouldn't count that. So yes, Battlefield, great episode in my opinion. There's a lot of mythology in this episode, such as Merlin and water creatures and stuff like that. The opener to series 26 of Doctor Who, the least viewed Doctor Who episode ever, with 3.1 million viewers, the first episode, but I think one in series 10, I think the Eaters of Light did get less but then he got more through iPlayer. So yes, the least viewed Doctor Who story of all time, and it is my second favourite Sylvester McCoy story. So yeah, Battlefield, I'd highly recommend a great story in my opinion. Now coming in at number one, we do have Remembrance of the Daleks. Remembrance of the Daleks Special Edition. Great episode in my opinion. First episode where we see the Daleks fly up a flight of stairs. Brilliant in my opinion, Remembrance of the Daleks. I personally rate this story probably a 9 out of 10. It is very good in my opinion, and it is probably one of the only proper classics of Sylvester McCoy's era. So yes, that is the end of this video. Let me know your top 5 Sylvester McCoy stories or 7th Doctor stories in the comments below. Personally, on top of all this, I do prefer the 5-ish Doctor's reboot. But until the next time, goodbye.